These days, Islam sells. So it's no surprise that newspapers are cashing in. But you might be shocked to know just how much they are. After a year-long study by One Path Network on five of Australia's biggest newspapers, we found almost 3,000 articles that referred to Islam or Muslims alongside words like violence, extremism, terrorism or radical. And that's just in 2017. We're talking more than eight articles a day portraying Islam and Muslims negatively. Of those 3,000 articles, there were 152 front pages about Muslims. That's almost every second day. The Australian public really is being bombarded with negative coverage of Islam. Now, there's no doubt that we do need to talk about terrorism and violence. But we have to ask, were there really enough newsworthy stories to warrant a full two-page newspaper spread talking about the perils and dangers of Islam every single day? Because that's exactly what's happening right now. It's easy to see these figures as just numbers with no real effect on the Muslim community. But in 2016, an Essential Report poll found that 49% of Australians support a ban on Muslim immigration. This year, a report by the Islamophobia Register of Australia directly linked spikes in hate crimes against Muslims with negative media coverage of the Muslim community. But this is the crazy thing. Another study in 2016 by researchers at Griffith University found that nearly 70% of Australians admitted that they knew little to nothing about Islam and Muslims. This is the real cost of our current media discourse around Islam in Australia. We know nothing about Muslims, but we hate them anyway. 